How's it going? Welcome back to Dylan Pickup's blog. So, the 1966 Tele uh, came back in for some more stuff. Last week, if you watch our other video on YouTube and whatever, um, you'll see, and on Facebook also, at Dylan Pickups, you will see um, that we worked on the neck pickup a little bit, <clears throat> uh, worked on the bridge pickup a little bit. You can go back and see that post. Um, he played it at two big gigs and no no feedback issues, no whatever, uh, no no problems with any of that stuff. The um, only so now after having you know another week on it, playing it at some big gigs and and really using the thing because he's actually really playing this guitar, even though it is a real '66. Um, there was a couple other issues, and it's really interesting. Um, well, some housekeeping stuff. One is the the input jack cup. You know, they get loose after a while, and on such an old guitar, that little bracket in there was wiggling back and forth. Um, so I put it where it was supposed to go and just put two small drops of epoxy just to hold it in place. Um, <clears throat> the main issue with the guitar, well, there's a couple. Setup-wise, the guitar had been refretted, and um, let's see, the 18th fret was a little high, so we fixed that. Um, you know, just dressed it up a little bit. I mean, obviously, just to make it real super comfortable um, and playable. And then um, the real main thing, though, is really interesting is on an early Telecaster switch, and there's really no way around this, when you flip a switch, so... When you flip the switch between pickup selections, <clears throat> The old, and I could actually probably cut to some to some B-roll to show you testing me testing this, but um, the old switch actually the wiper was so narrow that when you went between positions, the guitar would actually cut out, and it was actually a design of the switch. I tried, we tried two different um, vintage correct switches, the original one and another one, and they both were built that way. So, um, and he has a very uh, unique playing style um, of even in mid scale he will switch pickups depending on where he's at and he does it all the time he has switched hundreds of times a night and you'll hear that drop out in between there so that wasn't acceptable to him so we went ahead and just put a an actual fender three-way new fender three-way switch in here and then just gave him back the other one um, it was the one thing that I couldn't figure out any way of fixing. I didn't want to replace any parts of the guitar, um, but that was one thing that just because of the design of it, there was really no way around. So but that's basically the thing. It plays great. It sounds great. Um, the action is nice and low like it's supposed to be. Um, it's not noisy. Uh, it doesn't feed back. It works perfect like, I mean, you can, you'll, he'll be able to gig with this guitar. He's going to play it at a gig tonight. So um, I think it will, will be pretty sweet. Anyway, that's the deal, and uh, thanks for stopping by DylanPickups.com.